Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More. I'm outside a property I just purchased. This is a very interesting property and I have not seen inside it yet um, since I first saw it with the wholesaler too. So I'm not sure exactly how much stuff they left me or didn't leave me, but I'm guessing they left me a few things. And there's already an interesting surprise in back that will give quite a bit of you a chuckle. So um, this is a property that I honestly wasn't that excited about buying. Um, the wholesaler showed it to me and it had a price of 385 on it and i was not super excited about that oh we can get a fountain for 50 dollars. that's cool um and i said he asked me what price i wanted it for and i just kind of threw out a low number thinking it wouldn't get accepted and said 350 and he came back a week or so later and said guess what we got it down to 350. so it's an interesting property though and it'll probably be a really good deal but it also might come with some headaches. And yes, my truck barely cleared most of those. It was very exciting driving through there. <laughs> um, so not only is this one house, but it's another house and another house and a camper. Yay, they left me a camper. Oh, I just love campers. If you haven't seen my camper stories, um, pretty amazing and but they got me a ton of exposure on YouTube so that was nice uh, this property is also interesting because half an hour before closing which was supposed to happen three days ago they called me and said oh the seller's not gonna be out yet he'll be out tomorrow or the next day just so you know I'm like nope that's not gonna work we have to do a post occupancy agreement put 5,000 in escrow at least and then I'll agree to that or we'll remove closing and it took them until 430 that day to get all that set up and right and then I went and turned in my signed documents at uh, 4.45 that day, got it closed. And so now they said he's out, I've got the keys, and this is my first time seeing how it looks in here. I did open the door, but I have not seen past there. So appliances, here's a beautiful kitchen. Now the other interest, that's a very bright blue, wow. The other interesting thing about this property is I told you it has this house. This house also has a basement apartment, which we'll show you, but it's got problems too. <laughs> and it's got the two other houses, which may or may not have been garages or sheds that were converted to houses. But legally, oh, there's an old door right there. Okay. Um, boy, I think it would sure be nice to have that as a door, but that'll be tricky. Legally, you're allowed to have one house, um, another unit in the basement and then an additional house on the property the way the zoning is set up you can't have two other houses so that's one thing one reason why I did not like this deal because really if I was able to rent out all four of these units I mean it'd be a home run it'd be worth you know six hundred thousand dollars based on cash flow and income um, but since you can't rent out all of it that makes it a little trickier. But in the end, I looked at my numbers and figured out what rents were and everything. And I'll go over those at some point. I don't know if I'll do it in this video or not, or an uh, upcoming one. But I figured out, even if I just kept this house, the basement apartment, and the better of the other houses, and made that one a garage, it'd still be a good deal. So that's why I said 350. And look, there's a car. Look at that. Ooh, a very spider webby car. Oh! What is that a Countach? I think so. Although a very, maybe it's kind of distorted. It's made in China. Well, there you go. Now it's worth buying. <laughs> so as you can see, um, I just walked through an addition. That was an addition. It's had a few additions. That's kind of like the dining room. And over here we have more stuff going on. Um, a bedroom. They didn't leave a ton of things, but definitely some stuff. And it's not in horrible shape, but definitely needs some work, as you can see. Okay. okay another bedroom here. Sorry, I don't know exactly where I left off because a neighbor came over to tell me there's a frail cat that kind of lives on this property and in the other buildings. So we'll <laughs> see if we meet the cat. Um, well, this is probably an addition here too, you can see the bay window 
And then they did leave us a sweet mattress, so that's pretty amazing. I hear more noises. Oh, huh, okay. Anyway, here's a um, really big closet, but you can tell this used to be the outside of the house here, obviously. There's a window and siding, and that's siding there too. So it's kind of weird that they made this tiny addition for a closet. And I wonder if there's animals living somewhere in here. <laughs> or it's just water. I don't know. That all looks a little strange. And yeah, I keep hearing noises like something is on the roof. Hmm. Hopefully a cat or squirrel. All right, here's the bathroom for this part. Shower, really not horrible. I mean, it's got a bucket there, which makes me wonder why there's a bucket there. But, <laughs> you know, had much worse bathrooms. Okay, so that is all for this one. Let's go see what we can find on the other ones. So we'll walk this direction again. And yes, left me. Fountain. All kinds of trinkets, lots of paint and chemicals. Like I said, a really sweet camper. I might have to take that home with me. Boy. I don't know if I want to open this up or not. It opens. Oh, there you go. It's really not in as bad a shape as I thought it would be. Okay. All right, we'll see what the basement looks like. Then we'll go to the other houses. And yes, I don't know if I mentioned it. It's in a very, very busy corner. It's kind of hidden by all the trees in the layout, but really busy corner. What are all those? Oh, tables. Okay. Oh, Santa Claus? Christmas lights? Wow. Just keeps getting better and better. I haven't been in this yet. I didn't know this back shed was here. Another addition to a shed. Interesting. Fortunately, I don't have tons of time right now, so I can't just go looking through all the fun stuff. Okay, here's the basement apartment. Like I said, this was vacant when I saw it, I'm pretty sure. But there's also just like a guy living in one of the houses or kind of both the houses. And they said he didn't really have a lease. And they're not really sure, you know, if he was paying anything. Oh, there's the cat right there. <laughs> oh, sorry, my camera just got messed up. There we go. Hey, kitty. You did get locked in the basement, didn't you? Okay. Whew. Oh, there's water down here, too. I think. That sure looks like moisture right there. Or, kitty, don't come in here, please. We don't want to lock you in. What is that? Yes, I see you. Hi, kitty. Cats love me, and I'm really allergic to them. So I don't really have a problem. You know, cats are fine. But I just don't like sneezing my brains out. Yes, I see you. Okay, so the weird part about this is, well, there's no light. That's kind of weird. Maybe there is somewhere. Who knows where? Um, lots of stuff in the shower. There's no window down here. So that makes it very tricky as an apartment, right? Because I talked about those additions upstairs. The additions covered up the walls, you know, the exterior walls. So this is kind of like the bedroom. But yes, hi kitty. Um, <laughs> there's a, 
no way to put a window in your bedroom, you might be able to put an egress like right here and then call it a studio apartment. That might have to be what is done here. Okay. Yes, we're going to turn this light off really quick. I don't know how to turn that light off. This light. There we go. The cat is out. And we're going to lock that door. I think it's locked. All right. Hi, kitty. It's like I have a tour. I'm the tour guide for the kitty. Or he's my tour guide, I should say. He knows the property better than me. All right, here's another shed. All kinds of stuff. Again, people tell me to have garage sales and, you know, give stuff away. I'd love to give stuff away if I could find people who would come pick it up and take it, but most just won't do it. And I am not the garage sale type. All right, and then we should have another one here. Again, I think I got cut off. Oh, that window's wide open. That's good. Hello? That door was just open. So they said there was someone living here, but I'm gonna shut this door actually, so the cat doesn't come in. Oh, does that not? Hi, kitty, you don't need to come through here. Ah, that, oh, that's why. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. Train of thought. Someone was just living here and he let us in, but he didn't have a lease. They weren't sure if he was paying anything. <laughs> they don't, didn't really sound like they really knew who he was. So yeah, I'm not sure what that was all about, but they said he did move out. So he did have a bed in here and that's gone. So that's good. But this one is, uh, really low ceiling. It's like six, three, maybe. I've got an inch or two above me. And the floor is really, really sloped. So if I were to get rid of one of these apartments and make it a garage, it would probably be this one. Now, the other option is to, you know, I could keep it as a rental. I plan to just fix it up, get it rented and sell it again. Kind of like what I've been doing with some other properties because investors are paying crazy amounts of money for things right now. But if I were to keep it, even though technically it's not legal to have these units, I mean, you can still rent them out. And unless the city or neighbors or somebody really complains, it's probably going to be like, nothing's probably going to happen. So you could sell them like this too, just saying that, hey, um, they're illegal. One of the units is illegal can't rent it out, yada, 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 and then sell it that way too and not turn it into a garage and let the new investor do what he wants with it. So that's also an option. This one is locked. Hopefully that doesn't mean someone's in here. My cat will protect me if there is someone in here. Hello? He's work, that's a good sign. And this one's stinky. So this one has much higher ceilings. Oh, cat, don't come in here. And a nicer floor plan. But it's stinky because it had some water damage. And that's why the flooring's gone. So here's your kitchen. I mean, you might be able to get crazy and take the kitchen from the other one and put it in here if you wanted to, I don't know. But you can see the flooring was all removed. There's probably a little bit of mold somewhere because I can smell it. There's a broken, oh, it's double pane. The outside pane's broken. Okay, broken window, closet. Um, here's another bedroom. I talked to one of my bankers the other day because I was getting a cashier's check for this property for the down payment. I do use private money, but still to bring a little bit of money to closing. <laughs> She's like, oh, did you buy another interesting property? I'm like, yep, sure did. She's like, you buy the most interesting properties. And I don't know why she would say that. These are completely normal. Uh, water is running. Okay. Bathroom. Whew. Who doesn't love the shower hose as your shower head? That's the, sh the, 
the yard hose, sorry. That's amazing. Wow. Okay. So that's the property. Um, interesting. Come on, kitty. Go outside. Go outside. Good kitty. Okay. Oh, so we got the house, the basement, another house, another house, some sheds, a camper, and I didn't even show you the ditch. I might show you the ditch here too. So a lot going on. Um, interesting place. Before I show you the ditch, of course I like the likes, comments, shares, could keep those coming, especially for buying properties like these. I think I deserve some likes and new subscribers and shares. <laughs> I can see why uh, my low offer was kind of accepted now. And see what I can do now is take a video of that shower hose and then I can post it on TikTok and Instagram Reels and people will think that's funny. So there we go. All right, okay kitty, stay outside. Let's take a look at this ditch in all of its glory. Here the property goes to right here. Oh, tires, yes, of course there's tires. More shingles. There's a really horrible, ugly trailer back here though. And that's gone, so that's good. So some stuff is gone. That's what the property looks like from this side. And then they made the front look really nice so where you see from the street. The back, not so much. And then here is the ditch. Oh, it's full of water now. Last time I was here, a couple weeks ago, they did not have water in it yet. And it kind of looked like there's a dead raccoon down there. So he probably washed down there somewhere. Okay. There you go. Another interesting property added to the portfolio. <laughs> we'll try and figure out what to do next, what to fix, repair, what to do with the camper. It does not look level at all. Boy, look at that. Oh, it's got the cool wine barrels under it though. That's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, like I said, love the likes, shares, comments, investformore.com has a ton more information on everything we're doing. And um, we have lots of updates on this property, our other properties. Um, rentals, commercial properties, the store, all that stuff coming up. So stay, stick around. It should be interesting here the next coming months. And Kitty, sorry, you're going to have to live outside, not in the houses anymore. All right, take care. We'll be back.